Hello again, beautiful people. Welcome back to another Motivational Wednesday. I hope you are all doing well and staying safe. If you are new to my channel, my name is Samantha. Welcome. So this morning, we are going to talk about the ant. Emulating the ant, that small but very wise insect. I will be reading this morning from the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 6 from verse 6 to 11. So let's see and let's read and see what we can get from these verses, beautiful people. Verse 6 says, Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Consider the ways of the ant and be wise, beautiful people. Let us look at the word sluggard. A sluggard is a lazy person who loves to sleep and hates to work. A sluggard is not motivated to do anything that will change their situation for the better. They are always making excuses as to why they are not achieving beautiful people. And you cannot go to the sluggard with your plans. Plans for future endeavors because you cannot go to a person who is unmotivated for motivation. The Bible is telling you that we must go to the ant, go to somebody who you see is doing something substantial in life and consider their ways and be just as wise as they are. Verse 7 and 8 says, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. The ant do not have a governor or ruler. The ant don't have anyone telling her, do this, do that, go there. No. In, in today's world, if you have money, you can afford and you want to live, you know, a better life if you want to achieve a lot if you want to get rich you can hire a life coach and a financial advisor the bible is saying here that the ant don't have that but the ant is so wise that the ant uses the the summer and harvest season to gather food for the winter so the ant is somebody that knows how to plan and make preparation for the future. The ant is thinking about success and peace, beautiful people, because, because let me tell you, when you are a successful person, you will be at peace because there are areas in your life that you make plans for. So when certain things happen, you don't have to worry. The ant is reminding me this morning of the Proverbs 31 woman she studies the season she stores food she makes sure that during the the, the the winter season her household has warm clothing the aunt is reminding me so much of that virtuous woman there is a reason why the bible is telling us to consider the ways of the aunt beautiful people and we must be wise we live in a world now where you, you can, I can sit here and I can purchase items in the States. Hello, you, you, I can sit here and I can shop, shop, shop. So if I am not wise, beautiful people, a lot of people are addicted, addicted to shopping. So if you are not wise, you will work and don't save anything. All you, if you are addicted to shopping, every day you go online, you see something new something nice to buy something nicer you see a, diff, a, a better style of shoes shoes than the one you bought last year the bible is telling us here in verse 9 and listen to please listen to verse 9 10 and 11 these three verses goes together it says how long wilt thou sleep O sluggard when wilt thou Arise out of thy sleep. That is verse verse 9. Well, when wilt thou arise? When are you going to get up? 
stop being lazy stop procrastinating i remember when i was in my 20s i used to put off things i used to say i am young i have time the bible is asking us when are we going to look into ourselves examine ourselves and and say you know what it is time for me to do something that can change my life for the better that can change my family life for the better because sometimes when we change something about us it affects even our household or family beautiful people verse 10 says yet a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the hands to sleep verse 11 and last says so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth and thy want as an armed man armed man so shall thy poverty your troubles things in life that we don't make preparation for sicknesses can be your poverty your poverty is something that will happen that you can you you, you can't deal with it you, you don't have this, the, the funds to deal with it that is your poverty that is your trouble it says the trouble come upon you as an armed man you know sometimes things happen and we it's like chaos because we we did not expect it and we did not plan for it these these things that the bible is telling us beautiful people so we must consider the ways of the ant the ant plans for the future the ant do, the bible is telling us here that the ant saves she sows and she reaps in the summer but she don't spend it all she's she store food for the winter that when she's under underground when they are underground they don't have to worry about food so the ant stores food for a, a rainy day so what the bible is telling us here that we must be like the ant save for a rainy day plan for the future plan for plan plan and change our situation that our family can benefit the bible tells us that a wise man leaves an inheritance for their children's children so when we consider the ways of the ant and we change situation and we start to work on ourselves achieve goal save we are securing wealth beautiful people for the future generation we cannot live for today alone we have we have to think about the future i my pay my salary is small and i i make sure i have health insurance so we have to you know we have to consider those things health insurance savings we must be like the ant beautiful people save for the rainy day plan for the unknown and that is my motivation for for today thank you all for watching thank you all for subscribing i will have my 28 week savings challenge update on saturday